Hi, this is Russ Hardy with Field Peace Instruments. I'm going to show you the new Field Peace client meter line. First, we have the SC600 series. This is the fully loaded, feature rich line. Then we have the SC400 series, which is all the essential features in the mid size package. Then we got the SC200 series, which is all the everyday features in a nice compact package. All right, let's go over the features of the SC640. All right, let's just check out the case first. First, we got the swivel head, still a full swivel head, 180 degrees. And with the swivel clamp, we got the jaw light on the top, so you can see in dark places. Then this also has lead storage in the back, so I have my leads wrapped around the clamp, and I can just tuck my leads away right in the back. Now, let's just check out the leads as well. This is uh, the same leads that go on all of them. First, you'll notice that the cap comes off. This is for... Uh, it's a UL spec to have a short tip for safety features, but if you don't need that, you can just take off the cap and uh, use your probe that way. You also notice that it's gold plated, so nice conductivity when you're when you're measuring stuff. And this also has the magnet, so it's our first clamp meter with a magnet in the back. And actually, all three of these have magnets, and I'll show you the different styles as we go through them. So this is really cool, just to get the magnet up there and slap it on the system to get it out of your way. All right, back to the dial. We got a uh, first thing you'll notice about the dial actually is it's backlit display, the dial as well. So we got a backlit display down here. When you press the backlit button, it also lights up that dial so you can see it in hard to reach places. So the first one, we got the Hertz and amps uh, and volts AC range. What that does is it puts amps in the top display, volts in the bottom display, and the uh, also Hertz. So Hertz and amps are measured with the clamp, and then we got volts with the leads in that switch position. That's the 50 range, that's the 400 range, you see in there. And we got volts DC, this is for, uh, now this is measuring uh, with the leads. Then we got hertz and duty cycle, and this one's also with the leads, so when you need frequency or duty cycle, it'll show them both at the same time on the dual display. And we got microamps DC for flame rectification. Uh, we got still have the K-type thermocouple probe and temperature. It'll display both Fahrenheit and Celsius at the same time, depending on whatever you like. Then we got a diode tester, ohms. We got ohms right here, microfarads, non-contact voltage, and continuity. All right. Now let's go and just take a look at the buttons. We got your backlit button, your select button. This will just toggle through the ranges. So, for example, amps, hertz or amps you know back and so depending on which switch position that select will, will toggle through um, the various things that switch position can measure then we got range if you want to select this is an auto ranging meter and it'll select the range for you but if you do want to come to a certain range you'll notice my volts it's changing the decimal point and the unit so that's millivolts there's volts so and then you're going to see the decimal place moving as I do that. Then we have the hold feature, so you can hold it, unhold it. And on the side, we have inrush current. So this puts it into inrush mode. So when you're in the amps, uh, the hertz and the amps, either one of these ranges, you can put it into inrush mode. And then uh, it's right here. So what this is for is when you're using doing compressor startups, you can see exactly how many amperage, uh, how many amps it took to get that compressor going, or any motor for that fact, for that matter. Also, you can also select the range on this by uh, turning the switch position. Oops. There we go. And there you go. Different, different range for uh, a little bit higher range for um, motors that require that much, that much amperage to get going. And that is the SC600 series. That's a, this is the 640. We also have the 620 available, which is fairly similar, just a little bit less features. All right, now we got the SC400 series, and this particular one is the SC440. And you notice this is also a dual display, just a nice mid-size package. This one still has the magnet on the back, so you can get it up out of the way. Nice, you know, with the strap and everything. It also it still has the inrush, just like the 600 series, and. Um, you know, going around the dial has still a lot of the features. It's basically just missing the swivel and lead storage uh, to make it a little bit more mid-size, mid-size package. You know, for the guy that doesn't want the, the huge meter in his back. Um, but just we'll go around the dial just so you can see what's on it. We got Fahrenheit and Celsius, so temperature, non-contact voltage. A lot of these new ones are with the switch. You may have noticed, and so you just put it in the switch position, 
put it to something with power and uh, it'll, it's even doing it to the camera. And that will go higher and higher as, uh, as you get closer and closer to higher voltage. And we got microfarads, uh, diode testing, continuity and ohms in one switch position. You just cycle through it with the select button to get any of those. Hertz, amps, and volts, that's Hertz and amps with the clamp, and the salt still has a jaw light. And volts with the leads, volts DC, Hertz, and duty cycle, that one's with the leads, and then microamps DC. Uh, still K-type, temperature probe, selector switch, and that is the SC400 series. The other one that's available is the SC420, again, same package, a little bit less features than that one. Okay, moving on to the 200 series, is the SC260. Is, uh, this is just our compact meter, and this is one of my favorite ones. It has just a ton of features and a nice compact package that's going to fit in your back pocket while you're climbing up the ladder. Uh, it has the hold button on the side, the select button so when you're selecting the ranges, min-max, backlight, and this cute little button magnet that still serves a great purpose of getting this uh, clamp meter out of the way when you don't need it. So. Uh, you know, this is just a nice meter. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it's one of the most convenient meters you're going to find. It still has a ton of stuff going on in the, in the dial. I'll go over that. We got temperature, non-contact voltage, microfarads, diode, continuity and ohms all on the same selector switch, amps AC with the clamp, volts AC, and volts DC. And by the